Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Warcraft Happy Fun Time. I'm gonna get a lot of groans of anger and nasty comments now because I know a lot of you don't like World of Warcraft. But you know, it's probably the game I play most out of anything nowadays, so. Eek! Um. <laughs> I really have nothing else to say about it in regards to that, though. So. <sighs> I kind of stopped playing Minecraft, but I really wanted something to replace the whole blogging experience and uh, find a way to get all my thoughts on camera somehow. And it had to be a game that was nice and mindless, where I could just talk about whatever and not really worry about what's going on on the screen. And as it so happens, World of Warcraft is very good for that, because I don't really have to pay attention um, most of the time like running lobby in dungeons on a new character for example yeah it's pretty much whatever so i guess i'll go ahead and clue you in on what's going on, on the screen i'm pretty sure i've done a video about whaling caverns before i picked the worst dungeon to start this video off because i know i've done whaling caverns at least once before it was probably a while ago though but what i kind of wanted to pitch here was what the hell's going on? Why am I not getting any heals? Um, what did, what did, what, what did, what, who, ta, f, is supposed to be heals in? Cause you didn't, mm, I am mm, upset. There we go. You have to you have to let them know that you're angry sometimes in these instances. Otherwise, they won't take you seriously. And you tell people you're angry by using all capital letters um, in Comic Sans. I am not sleepy. I just had hot wing. Oh wait, hat had hot wings. Please heal me, thanks. Oh, right, yeah, shammies, yeah. At this little shaman gets screwed, I keep I keep forgetting about that. Shaman actually don't really get any decent heals for a while. Yeah. But knowing that, if you know you don't have any healing abilities, you shouldn't be freaking killing his healer. But I'm not going to be a dick and vote kick or anything, because whatever, I'm lazy. So anyway... Not only am I doing an instance I've already done, I'm also uh, showing off my amazing ability to die. Best start to a series ever. So anyway, this is Duft UI. I wanted to show off this interface, as I'm probably going to be using it for a while. It took a little bit to get customized the way I wanted. But in particular, there's a feature about Duft that I sort of really like a lot. And that feature is the threat majigger. I really don't know what else to, what else to call it. I guess the threat threat thing, threat Mc, McDuffin. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's its name now. The threat McDuffin. Where when you get into combat with something, if the nameplate is green, it means it's like trained on you. And if it's yellow, it's losing interest, and if it's red, it is not aggro to you at all. And it's probably eating on one of your party members, or it doesn't just, or it just isn't engaged yet. Let's say, yeah, that's a good, that's a good way to put it. I should be looting these for a quest or something. Die! But anyway, that's enough about WoW for now, because I've got more interesting things to talk about that have nothing to do with this stupid game. For example. It was recently announced today, and I am I am so sorry that this happened, but it turns out the next Batman is going to end up being Ben Affleck. And I mean, I can't see it. I, I really can't. I think he's way too pretty. Um, it, his face just doesn't... He looks too happy to be Batman. Like, wasn't he in that movie with Pauly Shore, too? I just... Something about Ben Affleck and Batman doesn't really... It doesn't really jazz with me. The two things do not click all that well in my brain. 
So, like, literally everyone on my Twitter feed, when I went to go check Twitter earlier today, was going on about how horrible the whole Batman Ben Affleck thing was, and how awful this thing, and how it's the death of Batman, and blah. And while I kind of agree with them, I'm very disappointed in their casting choice. You know, I also believe in giving the man a chance. He might surprise us. I, I'm always a little bit positive when there's a new person doing a role. Um, so, eh. Yes, it's quite scary, you know. But at the same time, it might be okay. Hold your breath and cross your legs and pray to Jesus that it turns out maybe okay and it could be his next big thing the break he's been hoping for in his career I doubt it's gonna end up being that way I really doubt it <laughs> oh shit anyway so there's that um that was a pretty big pretty big bit of news today that I was thinking about um in the middle of coming back and forth and going and taking um the classes I need, or not the classes, the tests I needed for my masters. Uh, in case you guys don't know a little bit of history about me, um, I graduated from college last, let's see, I think it was last December, and got my bachelor's degree in um, business administration. And I am going back now um, to my happy college to get my master's. So I will basically have three different degrees. I'll have my associates of science, I'll have my bachelor's, and I ha will have my other one that I just said, my master's. I don't know how I forgot that. My short-term memory's been awful. We'll talk about my short-term memory next. Don't you worry. But anyway, uh, getting that taken care of has been a pain in the ass in itself. There was a really huge problem I had with people on the GRE committee. And the GRE, by the way, is one of the exams you can take before um, you get admitted into most master's degree programs to kind of prove that you actually know something about college and you're not just kind of going in and going, do I could do a master's degree! Because they want to kind of filter, I guess, some of the people coming into the program. Um, but I scored well enough on the exam to get into my college first time. Well, actually, technically second time, but we'll go into that in a second. Um, and I should be starting classes next week? Maybe? I think next week, yeah. It'll probably be about next week. But um, I had an issue with the GRE people. And I'm not going to go into this too much because I'm pretty sure I'll get in law trouble if I do. But basically what happened was, on the, on the, um, the test prompter for taking the exam, I was listed as, do I want to say my name online? No, uh, let's just, okay, let's for, let's say just just for, for make-believe, I'm pretty sure you guys, if you're smart enough, can figure my name out, but please, please don't, because that's creepy. Um, but let's say just for, just for, uh, an example, my name is Harriet Tubman, okay? I am I am now Harriet Tubman to you people. On this exam, they had my name down as Tubman Tubman, basically. And you you just kind of, you think that's a typo, right? Well, no, because of the security measures that they take with the GRE, because my name was Tubman Tubman and not Harriet Tubman, it completely invalidated my entire exam. So what I ended up having to do was I went all the way up to Nashville and um, yeah, it's no secret that I live in Tennessee and um, I took this thing and then I got back and they were like, yeah, your test is uh, invalid because you didn't take it. Uh, wh what? Like you're Harriet Tubman, right? Yes. Well, well, that's not the person who take the, took the exam. The person who took the exam was Tubman Tubman. Uh, well, you know, normally you'd say, you know, this is obviously my fault. Um, I, I should have told the proctor or something. Well, the thing was, at the exam, when I saw this issue pop up, uh, I told a proctor, and they basically said that it was fine, and, uh, 
there was no problem so I kind of went on about my business and didn't really worry about it and then uh, yeah so that happened and um, that was basically a hootenanny in itself there was a big inquisition about it um, all the chipmunks up in Washington got in a fit I guess over it wherever GRE headquarters was like containment breach containment breach burp, 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 burp. and they had to like figure out why this infiltrator this terrorist this horrible person named Harriet Tubman was taking this exam for obviously Tubman Tubman who was the rightful taker of the exam and blah 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 well anyway eventually they got it figured out and I got to take the exam again for free um because it became obvious like I had all the info my social security na number and all that matched up so like wasn't even a big deal and um after a bit and uh, I call calls back and forth with my master's program at the college and god it was a mess but eventually we got it figured out and that was basically what was important was just getting it figured out but until that point it was oh god it was rough it was a mess oh boy well we're going good now as long as I don't freaking die again We'll see on this next boss up here if I get murdered. That would be awful. By the way, I have no AoE at this point. I don't even have Thunderclap. Do I have Thunderclap? What level do I get Thunderclap? Jewel crafting. Uh, thunderclap. Level 20. Yeah, I don't get Thunderclap until level 20. For frick's sake. Oh, I have Shield Block! Ooh, Shield Block. Where's that? 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 Yeah! Let's put that on shift four. Shift four, yes. Haha. -ha. Die! Die! Tubman Tubman demands your death! Blah! There we go. So anyway, that was a big issue. And that was uh, the, the biggest nonsense that happened this month. Uh, another thing that happened, of course, was me getting back into WoW. Uh, I took a pretty large break for a few months and now that I'm back on moon guard I am so sorry guys here I'll kill that for you how's that there you go that's my gift and then I come back and I charge and freaking murder this guy's face <laughs> he is dead we killed him there we go anyway um, yeah, so I came back and I joined the guild and get along with them pretty cool. Um, I wanted something that had a little mix of everything because I'm into role playing and PvP and raiding, but I don't really want to do any of them on the hardcore level. I just kind of want to casual it out. Um, at some point, I do kind of want to go back into making Machinima. That would be cool. But I'm not sure when I'm going to actually get to do that. How do I use shield block? Do I need... Oh, interesting. Okay, so these blocks can be critical blocks. Do I... How much... I need 60 rage to use that. For the love of God, that's a lot of rage. Man. No wonder I don't use heroic strike for anything. That's ridiculous. I see you, spinny shaman. You're cute. You are a cute little puppy. I will pet you. You are a pet puppy. Pet puppy. Good puppy. Anyway. I've said anyway like five times. Sorry. Um, new guild. Pretty great. Probably wanting to look into making more machinima at some point. Um, I need to figure out how the whole model viewer thing works. And also figure out how green sque screens work. And also, I guess I should probably explain my uh, lack of content otherwise. I mean, I put out that random chicken video, but eh. Well, all the crap with school was taking up a lot of my time. And um, so that was a big thing. Um, but the major reason I hadn't put out any content was kind of the deal I had with my computer. I mentioned this in the chicken video but 
I have an SSD now, and it is the sexiest thing ever. Like, I would recommend to you guys, like, totally, if, you, if, if you're if you cool, which all of you are cool, yes, yes, cool people. I want to transmog that. Can I, can I have that? I want to transmog it. I want that shield. I love that shield. Yes! I want to transmog that later. Anyway. Damn it, I did it again. Um... I lost my train of thought. Oh no. Machinima. Yes. I need to get model viewer working. And um, I'm still signed in on Skype. Hang on. Shh, 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 shh. Shh, 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 No, no, no. No, 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 Skype. Yep, yep. We're going to hide this. Okay. Everyone's dying. <gasps> ah. I, oh, mm. this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Close the. Why can't I move? Okay, that was weird. Suddenly, my antivirus program popped up, and it was all like, "I'm gonna make it so you can't move. You're basically rooted." My antivirus program moved, moved rooted me. Is the worst thing ever. But um, machinima green screens. I need friends to tell me how to do machinima. I'm probably going to start looking up some tutorials because I do kind of want to do some sort of like story-ish thing. Um, I'm inspired a lot by stuff like The Grind and Illegal Danish and Mind Flame and heck, I even like wrote a really cheesy, lame fan letter to McKeith the other day and he actually res responded and I was like, whoa, you took time to talk to me. Whoa, I'm so flabbergasted, and oh my god, I love you, and blah blah blah. And I was like, I'm coming off as the biggest creep to this poor man, and I'm just, I should just stop talking now. <laughs> so I did. But, um, at some point, I've got to figure this out. Because it, I'm really passionate about making movies, and making movie movies that are actually like movies instead of crappy game videos that I can do basically on a whim whenever the hell I want to. Um, yeah, that's the thing. That looks like a rutabaga. Rutabaga mace. Uh, I do not want that. Rutabagas are gross. No. Oh god, we're almost done with this dungeon. It has taken a fortnight to get through this place. Used to be longer. Wailing Caverns used to be freaking massive. Um, it, you, it, like there, the the right section down in here that used to be like all of this, uh, and they lowered the size of it because they wanted to make it manageable for small groups. Like I remember back when I started playing WoW, Wailing Caverns was like a three-hour affair. It was like Gilligan's Island on steroids. Um, with no white women. It was awful. It was literally the worst thing. But I pulled a lot of really awesome memories out of early Wailing Caverns. Like, it was pretty sketchy. If you missed that one jump, you know that jump I jumped earlier when I was going up to that one boss guy? If you miss that jump in the old Wailing Caverns, it's like 15 minutes walking all the way back to get back to where you were. It's pretty bad. Um, and Whaley Caverns isn't the only dungeon that's had the remodel. I think all these remodels happened during Cataclysm. Um, another remodel was Sunken Temple, which is like one of the later, 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 later instances that really, really cut the size of the instance down. Like, it's not even remotely as big as it used to be. Sunken Temple used to be like uh, a basement... A huge basement, a huge first floor, a huge second floor, and a massive third floor. And I used different adjectives, but they were all pretty much the same size. But anyway, um, a lot of it was going up and down. You had to, like, do this crazy ritual and free all these prophets. And then, like, finally, at the very end, you get to unlock all the bosses after you do all this crazy work. But now you just go straight to them. And you don't even have to do a, a special quest to summon one of them that you used to have to have a crazy quest for. You just freaking go in and do it. And it's easy, easy as pie. 
But they've re redone, let's see, they've redone Wailing Caverns, they've redone um, Rage, Ragefire Chasm. I'm trying to think if there's any dungeon that was classic that they have not touched yet. Zulferic hasn't been redone yet. Uh, frick, what's another one? Another one that hasn't been done. Um, Nomergan really hasn't been redone yet, but they have added a, a few like quest mobs in there that make it easier to navigate if you're Alliance. If you're Horde, you pretty much just get screwed and you have to do it kind of the same way, I think. No, no, I lied. You get parachutes if you're Horde. Sorry. But it's been a while since I've been in there, so I don't really completely remember. Murder the Cobra! Kill him! Die! Here's a giant snake now! Oh my god! I'm gonna drop my jewel crafting thing because I don't trust this healer at all right now. You let me down once! Oh. Oh no! Give me that. Give me, 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 give me. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me those. I want them. I want both of them. You son of a bitch. Did I did I win any of did I win either? Or did she get both? I want those feet. Yes! I got the feet! Whoa! Give me those feet. Yeah. They were both really good upgrades for me. I was using the crappy feet from the island or whatever. I need new gloves, I need new belt. The rest of this is BOA crap I don't care about. Ugh. All right, walking back all the way to the start so we can do this escort mission and get the hell out of here. So, looking at my time, this is still like a 30 minute instance. So, it basically used to be two hours, I think. This instance, yeah, it used to be about two hours long. Um, and the escort quest at the end made it even longer because this freaking cow used to move at the speed of slow, like RP walk speed, like. Like, that fast. That fast. All the way through the ritual he's about to do. And Blizz has gone back on all these things and made so many quality of life improvements that it's just ah, so much better. It's really enjoyable to level 1 to 60 right now. Um, I have a close friend that recently got back into the game. And he was telling me about how grindy and stupid this game is. And how he just got bored at, like, level... 20 I think it was back me up on that I'm pretty sure you got bored at level 20 uh but yeah so I had to I had to convince him basically hold him down and make him play this can, can you go good okay and <clears throat> he concluded that the game is a lot better and he actually likes it a lot now and that's the most the opinion of most people that come back to this. This game really is not the same as it used to be. It used to have a bad reputation of being crazy grindy and you'd lose half your life in it and all that sort of stuff. You can play this game super casually now. The only bad thing about WoW at this point is that it's not free to play. And that's the only reason I can think of that a lot of people are turned off by it. Because the uh, the subscription model is really kind of gross and I think the only thing they really would need to do to fix uh, a lot of qualms with the subscription based model is make it so uh, whenever a patch comes out um, the people have to pay for it just like make people pay per patch like it would make it so much easier you wouldn't have recurring billing on your credit card um, people would feel like they're not connected per patch like every patch I'd make I'd make the major ones like 15 bucks and the minor ones like 10 something like that that's pretty reasonable um with no subscription fee hey 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 get... stop running away from me god crazy woman I'm a shaman and I don't know what the hell I'm doing wait a minute wait a minute hang on hold the phone is this shaman supposed to be the healer? Hang on here. Hold up a freaking second. That shaman's enhancement. They were enhancement this whole time. Mm. What's your name? Frankers. Frankers from the guild toxic. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you would have only one heal. Because your freaking enhancement. Jerk. Come in here in his enhancement. Be all like, oh, the Proud Warrior will be fine. Proud Warrior doesn't need any heals. He didn't overpower Jackass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever. We're already almost done. I didn't have many problems on the other bosses. Acting like acting like it was my fault that I was dying. I'm like, I only have one heal. You die so fast. <laughs> I'm gonna dance. I don't care. I just I just wanna dance. Just just wanna break it down. That's my goal in life. I'm just a happy panda. Dancing is my true calling. Let me sing you the song on my people. Nom. Nom nom nom. Hello. I am from the internet. I don't even think they realize that I'm recording. I told them before I turned on Fraps, I was like, I want to make a vlog now, please. And they didn't. They just kind of ignored me, but whatever. We're almost at the end of our of our wonderful excursion through this dungeon and um it's good to talk about myself i feel good talking about myself i feel like i can be a self-centered jackass and um explain things that maybe i would not have been able to explain otherwise i'm really sorry that i don't play minecraft anymore but you know it's just boring now like i played it for two years solid and um, the content doesn't come out fast enough and isn't big enough to keep me interested, so... Yeah, it's a problem with Minecraft. Um, end of the day, it's just uh, it's sort of the same thing. I guess if I always played on like a really public, dedicated server, or at least a little server with my friends, it would be a different issue, but... You get what you get. Um, I really had fun with Star Maid for the little period that I played it, though. It was really good. I hope they continue to work on it, because it has... It has the possibility of being something amazing. Like, I could see in Star Maid really huge-ass ship-to-ship battles coming on. And that would just be great. Ninja. My belt. Give me my belt. Give me my freaking belt. Woo! The Court of the Bear. That has my name all over it. I'm a panda. I'm a bear. I can do bear things. I'm unbearable! Unbearable! Die! Giant murloc thing. Execute spam! There we go. Is that a ring? That's a level 20 ring. I don't want to ninja that. They'll get pissed. They'll be like, that's a caster ring! <sighs> That's not for you. Uh, where do I take that? Requires level 15. Is there not a quest for that anymore? They just give you a glowing shard and that's it. Well, whatever. I even got a new belt. So I don't even need that one. I've got a better one. Whatever. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this epic excursion through Wailing Caverns. I'll probably put out a vlog type video of random WoW stuff at random points during the time that I feel like playing and um, I'll try to mix it up and make it different every time because there's enough of this game really to make a different video with a different thing every time I want to record thoughts and personal opinions and stuff oh look at this blood elf oh she's so sexy oh oh the only problem is, those pants do not match that shirt. Are you wearing male, male shoulders? Is that shaman gear? Shaman gear with a true silver champion. You, madame, are horribly, horribly racist. But that's okay. Because it's, it's, it's a free game. You can be racist if you want to be. You can, you can use the ultimate paladin weapon with shaman shoulders. I don't care. I'm not supposed to be ju judgmental. It's it's freedom of speech and wearing bad things and having horrible fashion sense. So, leaving off on that note, have a great night. And God bless you.
That's a weird salute. I guess I am a panda, so it is. It, it's fitting. Whatever. Bye-bye! Bye-bye.